Moving on now, tennis fans, listen up. Here's a way to get your game on and help out an important cause. This is the fourth year for the Connecticut State Employees Campaign for Char Charitable Giving. It's the tennis tournament happening September 7th and 8th over in West Hartford. That's right around the corner. Let's talk about it. Here with the details now, tournament director John Rasmus, along with state rep Nicole Claritus Ditria. Welcome to CT Style, guys. Thank you. Thanks Even for having us. I could return a serve with that <laughs> racket. Well, we're putting the offer out there. If you come down and play, you're going to be able to use this racket. <laughs> I don't know. I feel like it's really heavy. It might be a little oh, tough to swing. Right? Heavy. Take us through the tournament and what folks should know. Sure. Well, this is year four. Uh, years one through three, we played right at CT Open in Yale in New Haven. Uh, this year, we wanted to mix it up a little bit. We're going to uh, go to Conard High School in West Hartford. Okay. Uh, we have 15 divisions. We have competitive and non-competitive divisions. Oh, that's so you're good to know. Star. You don't have to be great. Yeah. You good don't have to, to know. be Keith Koontz. Yeah, right. You exactly. have to be a superstar out there. He should be playing. I, know. <laughs> I, I try to get him signed up. He's mm. thinking about it, I imagine. Wow. Um, now, I understand there's a, a rematch going on with you, Nicole, right? Yeah, it's not a rematch. It's, it's a new one. It'll be myself and... Senator Len Fasano okay. against oh. the governor and ex Senator Beth Bai. Oh boy. Oh, wow. Are you prepared for this? Are you a tennis Ready player? To, yes, I am. <laughs> okay. Played She's got it under control. control. So what do we know about the governor and his tennis skills? Does he we play? I don't know anything. <laughs> he says he plays. Should be interesting. But I've tried to, I looked him up. I couldn't find anything about his tennis history, so we'll see. Mm. Oh. Very Ready interesting. To go. Oh, there he is, though. We were looking okay. He's got the big racket. Is he also playing with that one? Uh, we'll see. He was trying to exert his executive authority to use this racket. <laughs> We uh, made a ruling he's <laughs> not going to be able to use it this year. So Good. Right. And you mentioned there's a couple different divisions, so you don't there have are. to be an all-star to play. Exactly. How do folks find out more information? How do they get involved? Sure. They can go right to eventbrite.com, uh, search under Tennis Hartford. Our registration site will pop right up. Some divisions have closed, but we do have some that are open. Singles, doubles, mixed doubles. We have pickleball on Sunday. Oh, uh, that's fun. That does look like fun. It's so much fun. I always wanted to try that. I'm playing pickleball on Sunday. So, that oh. Yeah. so this is a fundraiser. The it state is. employees are helping out with the cause. Where's all the money going? Sure. Uh, state employees campaign. Uh, you know, state employees, a lot is said about state employees. They raised over $700,000 last year for oh, really uh, 700 vetted charities. And I, I like to stress the word vetted. Uh, this year, the goal is a million dollars. This tournament is just one small part of it. We're all volunteers. 100% of the net proceeds go directly into that pool. That's terrific. And you said this is what, four years running now? It is. Yeah, it so is. things getting better and better every year. How has it been? Are. And pickleball was a nice addition. We're bringing that back. Yeah. And uh, we'll have 200, 250 players in wow. those 15 divisions, 15 different divisions. So who's, who are we watching? Who's. Uh... The main guy here, the main Well, I, I have to say, I think the uh, governor's match is a big <laughs> draw. That, right? that, that will be a big one, and that's at high noon on Saturday. Oh, so uh, we're hoping that uh, people come out to watch. They can play in the morning, watch this uh, match at noon. It's a great time. And it's a different location this year, a little closer to Hartford, because I know yes. probably most of you are based in, up in that area. Or? Exactly, exactly. Uh, as much as we loved uh, the, the CT Open in New Haven, uh, we had a lot of folks that said, you know, let's move it towards Hartford. So we're mm -hmm. going to try it out this year and see how it goes. Yeah. Great. You've been busy running a help to run our state. How, how do you have time to play <laughs> tennis? Do you get out there a lot? Um, in the summer now, once we're out of session, I, I yeah. get to get on the courts a little bit more often, so it's exciting. Yeah. All Thanks. right. I'm happy with that. Do you have any advice for people who might want to come out to the tournament, but they haven't picked up a racket in yeah. a while? Or can they come out and just watch? Because it might be fun to just check yeah. everything out, right? Definitely can Ab come out absolutely. You know, we mentioned the non-competitive divisions. Mm -hmm. If you have a bad knee, we have a bad knee division. So, Is that right? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> we have something for everyone. So don't be shy. Come out and play. All right. And just give us a website where we can find some more information. Sure. They can go to uh, www.employeegiving.ct.gov, and they'll get right to the Eventbrite site. Very good. And we'll put that information back up on the screen. Guys, thanks so much for being here. And thanks for good having luck. Us. Thank good you. Luck if you have time, come out and see us. We'll probably we'll be do. there <laughs> with at least a camera, too, if we can. Get out and get some coverage of that. You are surely welcome. Thank you. Thank, Thank you very much. All right, everybody.